we have an update about Gavin Michaels and his ban from Play Pokemon. Over a month ago, I covered his indefinite suspension for instructing players how to bypass the hack check. Well, he has finally spoken out, and unfortunately, the sentence has been reduced to a year, and he said, see y'all, and posted the emails from Pokemon support. Now, I'm making this video to cover a couple of things. One, to further show the corruption inside of Play Pokemon and the Pokemon Company International, but also because inside of the VGC community, there was a narrative that he wasn't banned for the instruction on how to hack check. Instead, it was like Israel, Palestine tweets and being too political on Twitter or something. And then people were trying to use that against me, like, oh, Verlicify is wrong. No, Verlicify always right. So here's what the Pokemon company had to say. Due to information the Play Pokemon program has received regarding widespread promotion and education on how to circumvent our tournament rules and policies, the rules compliance team has determined it to be in our best interest that your eligibility to participate in Play Pokemon programs be suspended indefinitely. And they say like Play Pokemon programs, so I would be all of Play Pokemon, which is 100% deserved if you're a cheater that has been caught cheating, that has won regional tournaments, that qualified for Worlds, that was disqualified from Worlds, and then instructed players how to bypass the hack check so they wouldn't be disqualified. You 100% need an indefinite suspension from any competitive scene about that game. Who knows how many hundreds of cheaters didn't get disqualified because they saw Gavin's post about how to get past the hack check and what the new hack check is looking for from the Pokemon company. Like that is such a disrespect to the game while also being a confirmed cheater that there is no reason anyone should be allowed to compete at that point. After reviewing your appeal, the rules compliance team has decided to reduce the suspension on your eligibility to participate and play Pokemon from indefinite to one year. From your initial appeal date your suspension will be lifted on november 28th this just further proves that the pokemon company international and play pokemon is just a cabal of cheaters that all look out for each other this is a complete failing of the rules compliance team and one year is as much of a joke as it can be two years while still being a travesty is still a little better than going from indefinite to one year for a cheater that instructed players how to bypass the hack check because they were mad they got caught cheating. In, in no other tournament, in no other competitive sport, esport, or game would anything like this happen. That it just shows like how corrupt and backwards Pokemon is. It also further proves that like, oh yeah, no one in play Pokemon or no VGC players actually read the rules. So then we just get this garbage. I own up to doing what I'm banned for. No, you're still cheater. You still defend cheating. You don't care about legitimacy at all in Pokemon. I was in violation of 3.3 of the standards of conduct. I'm grateful that the ban was reduced and I can finally explain what happened publicly. There's nothing to explain. You got caught cheating at Worlds and then you got an indefinite ban for explaining how to bypass the hack check and that is 100% the deserved punishment for this rule breaking right here. So yeah, gross inf it's a gross infringement of community standards and it gets reduced to a year? There is no appeal in the world that should be able to accomplish that. And then yeah, it says uh, distribution, promotion, or engagement in the modification of video game software or hacking. I mean, even then like with the engagement in the modification of video game software, that should just be a branch on rule 4.3 which like further shows like, yeah, all these players need to be banned for having hacked Pokemon. To clarify, since I'm getting a lot of questions about this, I was banned for promotion of hacking, not for using hacked Pokemon or anything else on list. Cause yeah, like deception, defrauding, uh, explicit content promotion stuff. I don't understand how there could be any question. It's clear what he was suspended for. For the hacked Pokemon at the world championships, seemingly not being a consideration for the suspension or being weighed against the appeal, further shows just like, there is no integrity in play Pokemon or the Pokemon company at this point, And there is no reason to participate in VGC because of how corrupt it is, which goes to the next part of this video, because I want to keep talking about the corruption inside of it. This isn't a Gavin only video. So I posted about this on Twitter and now it just kind of like makes more sense than ever. And it also puts context on Pokemon worlds, 2023. I've had multiple sources give me this information. So, got this from a judge, 
feel free to spread it on an anonymous basis to your fan base as I think it's relevant to your cause. New Hack Check was first implemented at the top eight of the North American International Challenge 2023. None of the players passed the hack check. Because of that, it would have left the tournament top cut without players, and then TPCI instructed the head judge to ignore the hack check and proceed as if it hadn't been done. Yes, the Pokemon company is more of the problem than the solution. I've been saying that because like this further proves corruption. When you look at the rulings, when you look at the handling of disqualifications at the 2023 World Championship, and then when you see like the North American International Challenge, the second largest event for the Pokemon VGC, everyone in the top eight was cheating. And then they couldn't actually like go through with the hack check. They effectively tested it here. And then they realized like, oh, everyone's cheating. And then that at least gave them confidence that they're going to catch a lot of people at Worlds. And then they did. But to not just ban everyone and be like, oh, we need to do something about our scene is disgusting. And this also has to further show how much lying is happening between the Pokemon Company International and the Pokemon Company. I feel like the Pokemon Company International is playing cover to protect their jobs, to protect their players, and hide from like Game Freak and the Japanese side of Pokemon because, oh, once Pokemon Worlds went to Japan, these players are getting disqualified, they're getting removed, and they're lucky their punishment isn't anything more. And I'm also wondering like, where, where's the statement from the Pokemon Company, the Japanese side, or even play Pokemon or Chris Brown about all the cheating that we saw. Still nothing, even though it was a record amount of cheating and it only gets worse and it gets like even crazier when you realize, oh wait, the same thing happened at the North American International Championship. So it's just all corrupt. And I'd like to think that the Pokemon Company of Japan is still being kept in the dark by all of the corruption, but who even knows at this point? But then that was backed up when I had another person say the same thing. They test the world tat check at top eight all eight was gen. They kept moving because the solution would be to not play the top cut. Uh, both of these people said that the information came from a judge, and that's how they like knew about what happened at the North American International Championship. And then if we can look at the top eight for North American International Championship, there should actually be no surprises here on who's a cheater. Further proving that hacked Pokemon give such a massive advantage in Pokemon VGC, it is impossible to compete as a legitimate player. It's not like, oh, you can't win because of all the cheating. No, you can't even top because all of the cheating. And no wonder you keep seeing the same names over and over again because they're all cheaters. And they get a free pass into top cut, not because of their skill, but because they're cheating. And then this works for stealing championship points, prize money, world's placements, and all of that other stuff because just a big cheating cabal and the Pokemon Company or National and Play Pokemon is friends with everyone. Cheaters like Cybertron looking out for all of his buddies and then you're not allowed to expose or say anything about this because then the entire scene falls apart even though if the only thing keeping VGC alive is cheating, you don't deserve to have a scene at all even though it's like a complete lie. VGC attendance would go up everything would improve about VGC if cheaters were actually punished. And it turns out a lot of people aren't cheating scumbags. If it comes down to break the rules or don't participate, they're not going to participate. So it's only going to improve everything about the scene to actually enforce the rules. And Pokemon VGC is still one of the most accessible competitive scenes, even if you have to train your Pokemon legitimately. It takes less time to be elite than any other esport, way less money and time than any other sport competition olympics or something and then i've done the chess comparison to death but it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars and tens of thousands of hours to become a chess brand master but then all these brats are doing with, with the pokemon championship is just cheating and then they they get a free ticket to worlds so there we go guys that's the update on pokemon vgc another in the long list of corruption and cheaters and hopefully something happens like Every every time something happens, I'm like, surely this has to be it. Wolfie VGC, 100% confirmed cheater with multiple hacked teams and constant hacked Pokemon throughout his entire career. You cannot deny this evidence. Oh, the idiots denied the evidence anyways. And then we also have like, wait, we just had multiple world champions get confirmed for using hacked Pokemon. Nope, nothing there prize money championship points overwhelmingly going to confirm cheaters and now record disqualifications at pokemon worlds players gloating about their cheating not getting punishments or getting slaps on the wrist and then and then still not improving so like it's an insane amount of corruption 
And that's why I keep covering it. Like, something has to break. Something has to give. This has to get the right amount of attention. This has to get someone diving into it. My dream is that one day Carl looks at this and goes, My god, Pokemon is actually the most cheated scene in all of gaming. Or some other, like, large commentary figure talking about this and like really exposing what's going on and how disgusting the pokemon community is and how bad the competitive scene is with all of the cheating and just the derangement to be like yep cheating's okay but it doesn't exist but if it did exist it's still okay and there's no problems whatsoever and verlicify bad so all kinds of crazy stuff going on but i'll continue to be the only good poketuber i will continue to do the right thing that's kind of it. Not, not really a hope guys enjoy the video, have a nice day kind of thing, but there's your news.